Chief Rodrigo has been in the business of artificial intelligence and big data analytics for about four or five years now. What we found recently is that the only way to make further breakthrough is by partnering with industry leaders who can push the use cases to the edge. A partner uh, who has excellence and leadership position in their industry, we came across Toto's team. And we believe they can actually lead us to better apply our body of knowledge, our foundational capabilities to make a breakthrough in this domain, then hopefully translate into the broader industry as a whole. On a personal level, we got on straight from the beginning. You can see even in a world of machines, uh, the human, uh, human connection is important. We're an engineering and data-driven business. The quicker we learn, the better we are. Together, we can try to capture a part of this infinite amount of information in the human and its sensors as much as in the car. What I like to say is that G42 is a, is a racing boat for me, much more than a speedboat, because we, we work with a big organizations but here we can specifically design tasks and develop and gain a real performance advantage. Toto's philosophy uh, that in this automotive racing world, humans are at the center of it. It's about human performance. It's about human well-being. He's focused on driver. His expression to me, which it's, it's deeply seared in my mind now, that humans represent a collection of almost infinite amount of sensors, much more than what the machines can sense. This really resonated with me. That human-centric approach to put AI in the right context, to understand why we're doing this, for what purpose, uh, that really connected from my side with uh, Rito. We're in a, in a relative game and in a very honest sport, the stopwatch never lies. You're either better than your competitors or not. I believe in marginal gains, um, but marginal gains are nothing compared to the magnitude of uh, performance advantage we can have uh, with the collaboration with, with Bank and his team. The interaction between man and machine, the translation of each other's data is so important. It's marginal gains are having your own pillow traveling with you and the right nutrition. As a practitioner in the AI domain, this is a watershed moment. I believe the highest pursuit uh, in my field is to better understand human behavior. But to better ultimately understand our own human behavior, even our mentality, you have to go into domains where things are better controlled, there are boundaries, like, for example, sports. In particular, in a high-stress environment, you're driving a car. If we can go deep and understand the behavior, the driver behavior, I believe it's so exciting we can eventually translate it into the broader domain of human behavior, which for me is the highest purpose that AI can serve. If you were to ask what is my core activity, is actually trying to find out what drives a human, trying to find out what is it, what kind of framework do I need to provide to a human to extract best performance. Framework could mean incentives. A framework could be working environment, development, and obviously all purpose. It's like Peng said, he's interested in human behavior and human patterns. Where we can link our efforts in my true mission purpose is understanding people and trying to provide a great framework around them. We can join forces. I think we will be learning together. The information flow very much is from the team, probably into G42, to learn what is it you're doing, what is the regulatory environment, what exists, what kind of simulations and AI tools have you relied upon, which is minuscule. The information flow in the other direction is going to happen soon. And I'm really very excited to, of the impact it's going to have, because I'm sure there will be an impact and it's going to grow uh, over time. The more we know each other, the more we, the more Pang and his team know Formula One and its, its framework and the other way around. There is a reason why it's, this general field is called machine learning. First step is to learn before you can teach and offer value. We are right now in the mode of learning as much as possible uh, from uh, Toto's team. And we believe eventually what we want to get to is the AI we develop for his team can even be self-learning. 
And that's when all the possibilities come open. The robot hasn't got the charisma and the aura uh, of Lewis Hamilton. Uh, so that's going to take a while. And on the other side, the, the human is still sup superior to the machine when driving a race car on the edge. I still believe for a very long time, the human is going to be winning over the computer when driving the car. Because it's not like an autonomous level five driving and you recognize the, the pedestrian and you recognize the lights. It's just so much more complicated. I want to add to this also, that is my hope in this partnership is for sure we'll discover a new knowledge, new techniques, new solutions to make machines better, for sure, from tires to engine. But my angle, as I mentioned earlier, is to better understand human behavior. I think that is really the ultimate goal for us. Uh, everybody today is racing to build faster, bigger, cheaper machines, but we understand so little about ourselves. And I hope this partnership will help to unlock the secret of human behavior and human performance. Yeah, we've had a very constructive uh, work, uh, workshop um, trying to define specific areas where we can have more short-term impact and then everything else that's more long-term. And we've chosen various topics and we're getting, we are getting going as we, as we speak. I love a challenge. I think if I can tell you today, only after a few workshops, I'm confident. That means we're not solving challenging problems. I think this field is, is incredibly challenging and exciting. The fact that Toto is here physically with us tells us we're ready to join hands on, on tackling these challenges. From my perspective, like short term really is about learning, is collect as much data as possible from both human side and machine side, and put all this data into a consolidated, streamlined, big data platform, which is something G40 does very well, and then apply machine learning, AI techniques on top of it. And the long term is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, where AI can become self-learning, we can tell Toto here, what I give you to you is not a product, it's not a solution, it's a utility. It's like the fuel you put in the car. You turn it on, AI is right there. It's learning, it's improving. It's never going to be a finished product. I think that is the future. Long term is, is uh, most important, the development of the, where the team goes. For me personally, is I want to have a lot of these trophies when I look back in 20 years or in 30 years. The trajectory, the short term and mid term is I want to win on Sunday every consecutive race and every consecutive championship. So I hope that Pegasus team can help us uh, over the full lifespan. To stay ahead, you just have to stay ahead, meaning as what he just said, they are the leader in the racing world of cars and we like to see ourselves as this race boat in this vast ocean of, of AI competition, I think we have two great advantages. Number one, a G40 to plug into a, a leading national platform of AI research. You know how passionate UAE is about leveraging AI to transform whole society. That's an incredible foundation baseline for us to work with. But as an organization, we're very agile and we are never uh, bogged down by large corporation uh, mentality. We stood ahead by uh, briefly, boldly experimenting on different use cases. So I think our uh, key differentiator is speed. Peng said it's, uh, that's our joint denominator is speed. I believe that teams will already be making inroads. This is a highly competitive environment and the faster we go, the quicker we learn from each other, the better the results will be. And uh, teaming up with the race boat is exactly what we need. From my perspective, uh, what's required of my team will be deep immersion and integration. We cannot be sitting across the table saying, what do you need, what can I do? by becoming one team. We need to be embedded in Totox's team and understand every race, pre-race, uh, driver's schedule and, and really be part of that whole organization, deep immersion and learn from it. Uh, same for me, I think it's the exciting part is that we're learning from each other. We have a billion um, spectators that watch uh, through the screens every year. Uh, a Grand Prix can have up to four or five hundred thousand people live. The more we understand our audiences, the more we can tailor make packages that actually suit them. And we believe understanding is not only good for business, but it's actually very good for the fan. At the core of this pursuit is about better understanding, at least from my perspective, human behavior. 
not means a behavior and performance of driver. Very, very deep understanding and also across the board that one billion fans, how they feel and how, how they engage. And I think uh, our capabilities in big data analytics and, and AI in general can bring that fan engagement insights to Total's team. I think uh, many concerns are in fact valid because AI is such a disruptive tool. It's a tool for the first time in modern history of IT technology is learning on its own. It's really up to very responsible leaders in their respective businesses, like Total, like our company here, to guide the application of AI to positive use cases. There's no doubt in my mind AI can be used for, say, certain wrong use cases. Uh, just like electricity can be used for good things and bad things. But I'm confident with the right partner, with the right mindset, will guide our development of AI in the right direction. Well, I'm learning a lot from Peng, and I'm obviously reading what we all read, as long as the, the people that are on the cutting edge of creating and developing AI are responsible. The way, the way you just described, I think it can be a, a very helpful, fantastic new edge and uh, it's unstoppable anyway. It's happening already. Yes. The question is how far the capability of the machine is going to go.